Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 2 of the solution on the paper CC8 that is the mathematical methods 3 for the year 2023 under University of Calcutta for physics honors. You can see this is the total question paper uh, 2023. This is question number 1 which already covered up in the part 1 and this is question number 2 and 3 which will be continuing in this video and the upcoming session will be continuing question number 4, 5 and then 6 and then 7. So let's start today's solution that is says that is uh, z to the power 5 equals to 1. What will be the roots of this equation? So 1 can be written as cos 2k pi iota sin 2k pi where k is 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. etc. Uh, if you put uh, k equal to 0, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 0, so you will finally obtain this one. So this is the general solution of 1. Now z equals to this 5 can be written as 1 to the power 5. So by de Morgan theorem, this is can be written as by de Morgan theorem. This is written as by d Morgan theorem that is uh, this uh, power uh, I, I can write this theorem is like that uh, that is cos theta plus iota sin theta whole to the power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta okay so this uh, this is uh, 1 to 1 by 5 is written here since there is z to the power 5 so there must be 5 roots of this equation that's why the value of k is 0 to 4 so that you can write so the solution is like that with the value of k 0 1 2 3 4 right next establish cauchy riemann condition for analytic function in polar coordinate the cauchy riemann condition in uh, in 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 for, for, for an analytic function is like that del u del x equal to del v del y and del u del y equals to minus del v del x in Cartesian coordinate system that is x y. In polar coordinate system r theta the relation between the Cartesian coordinate system and the polar coordinate system like that x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta from where you can get the r equals to root under x square plus y square whereas theta is nothing but tan inverse y by x. So this del u del x can be written as del u del r into del r del x plus del u del theta into del theta del uh, x because this x is a function of r and theta and y also function of r and theta. Similarly del u del theta can be written as like that and after that you find del u uh, del r del x from here you can find del r del x is like that uh, actually 1 by 2 root under x square plus y square and 2x these two are cancel out so finally del r del x is like that and similarly del theta del x del theta del x just uh, taking the derivative of this you will be get this one finally obtain del u del x equal to like that and similarly del u del y can be written in like form so uh, in the similar form del v del x and del v del y can be written in this one so finally these two four equation can be used in this relation so use in this relation of these four equation you will be easily find out the uh, these two relation. These two equation uh, after getting these two equation multiplied with this cos theta and with this uh, sin theta, this uh, second term vanishes and this term will be arises and this is equals to zero because this right hand zero. So you will be obtain this relation and if you multiply it with uh, equation number seven with minus sin theta and if you multiply it cos theta by equation number eight uh, or equation number this will be 8 not 6 this will be 8 uh, sorry this will be equation number 8 okay by cos theta and adding them so finally you will be obtained this cauchy riemann condition in the polar form right next expand this uh, uh, this uh, uh, function in Lorentz series for uh, z minus 1 mod is greater than 1 find the nature of singularity at z equals to 1 and the residue there so this is the uh, fun, uh, function and uh, mod z minus 1 is greater than 1 is signify z is greater than 2 or z less than 0 this is the region of the uh, function 
now you, you can take x z minus 1 equals to so z equals to u plus 1 put this uh, value z here you will be obtain this expression and uh, then continue with this expand of this function and multiply it you will obtain this expression this is the Lorentz series this is the Lorentz series here you can see at z equals to 1 there is a pole of order 1 this is the power is 1 so this is the pole of order 1 and residue is 1 because the coefficient of uh, one z minus 1 z minus 1 is the coefficient and the coefficient is 1 so this is the residue right so this is the answer of this question next question evaluate this cyclic closed integration z square exponential z by z square plus 4 digit over this contour and contour mention the nature the singularity of the integrand so this is the function z square exponential z by z square plus 4 Hence, z square plus 4 equals to 0. If you take this is 0 such that it is diverge, so you will be obtain z equals to plus minus 2 iota. Hence, f of z has a 2 simply pole that is z equals to plus minus 2 iota. So, the ratio at z equals to 2 iota can be obtained after uh, using this formula. Limit z tend to 2i, z minus 2i, f of z, put this value f of z into this form, z square 4 can be written in this form and these two are cancel out finally obtain this expression and putting the value z equals to 2 iota obtain iota exponential 2i similarly j residue at z equals to minus 2 iota obtain minus i exponential minus 2 iota right now consider this condition this condition gives you the circle where the center cent this is the equation of circle where the center is 0 uh, minus of 0 minus of, this is the center with the radius 1 so this will be the circle where this uh, maximum y value is half uh, this is minus 3 by 2 this is root 3 by 2 this is minus root 3 by 2 since the point that is z equals to 2 iota and z equals to minus 2 iota those are the two poles these two are uh, are the outside of this contour since these two are outside of the contour then the integral value is 0 clear i think clear because the in, within this limit within this limit the the poles are outside since the poles are outside of this region hence this will be 0. Similarly, for uh, second condition mod z equal to 3 that is the x square plus y square 9 that is origin at 0 0 and the radius is 3 that is these two pole both are within the contour within this region. So, sum of the residue will be 2 pi iota uh, summation and finally put this as an exponential value. So, this is minus 4 iota sin 2 is the answer of this question. Next question, evaluate this integration 0 to 2 pi d theta by 4, 5 minus 4 cos theta whole square residue by residue theorem. Uh, if, you, if, if we take z equals to the iota theta cos theta equals to like that and dz equals to this one, so d theta equals to this one, putting this uh, theta in terms of z will be obtained this one and simplify this, you will be finally get the expression is like that and finally we obtain in this form. Okay, this is the integral form. Now you can see the integral has a pole, this is has a pole uh, of order 2 at z equal to 2 and uh, at z equals to half this is also order of 2 ok. And you can see this is the unit circle since this is a unit circle this is outside of the circle only z equals to half inside the circle. So at the uh, at z equals to half the residue can be obtained by the residue theorem you can easily find out uh, with the derivative and square. So this is the value of this residue hence the integral value is 4 by iota into the value of integration 2 pi iota is this one ok summation of all residue only one residue only one pole within this loop within the contour so finally obtain this one. I think you clear on, uh, and under the solution if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me this is my contact detail and this is my youtube channel. So take care thank you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you.